One pick wheel here, we're going to do the front wheel hub bearing on a 2009 NC Miata. Um, so what we're going to have to do is of course take the wheel off, we're going to have to take the brake pads off and the rotor off before we even get to pulling the hub. So take a look at your brake pads and rotor thickness to make sure um, maybe you want to do those at the same time since you got to pull them off and put them back on anyways. Uh, a few special tools are going to be uh, very useful. This is a slide hammer uh, hub puller. So that will make things a lot easier. Though I'll discuss a couple other optional ways, optional tools that you can get the, the hub off also. But this is supposed to be the easiest way. First time myself doing it, so we'll see how it all goes. And then the other thing is, rolled over here, this is an impact screwdriver. So there's a little screws that holds your um, brake rotor in. Those get, they're kind of hard to get off. This will make it a lot easier if you're going to, I would not skimp on this tool because you'll use it more often than the puller, but um, we'll see. Here it goes. Okay, so this is the new hub and bearing. It's one assembly. And basically it it fits in here and there's four bolts in here and then the wheel and everything push on there. Um, this is, at, Timken's supposed to be one of the better ones, so I got that. This is actually an RX-9 hub. They're supposed to be a little bit stronger. I don't know. It's supposed to fit also. Just make sure that you get, especially if you have a um, stability control, it needs to have this little thing here because that is for the speed sensor. Okay, so here's how you tell it's bad. Um, mine isn't making any noise or anything. I can't feel anything. Um, but it, with these tight, with the lug nuts tight, if you can pull, you can really, and it, you can feel it give just a little bit. Um, that indicates that your, your bearing is bad. Okay, so first issue is you're supposed to put a 17 millimeter here to hold this nut as you turn this with a 14 millimeter socket. My, there's a little lip on this nut and my 17 millimeter wrench is too thick to get in there. So I have to use my adjustable, my adjustable is thinner. So I'm going to have to use my adjustable, so hopefully that'll work. I'm going to also try to just use my impact wrench, and maybe it'll work without this. Okay, so we've got all the brake pad hardware off. Now we have to get the rotor off. 
and the only thing that's holding in is this screw. I had, guess there was there's one here, and uh, it's already been taken off. These are put in in manufacturing just to hold the rotors on as it goes through the, the plant. They're not really needed, so once you take it off, no need to save it or whatever. But it, they're a little bit soft and they get corroded, and so uh, they will strip easily. So that's why that we got this impact uh, screwdriver and basically put that in there and you hit it real hard with a hammer and then this turns a little bit as you hit it so hopefully it'll come off easily and there we go so this is a useful tool for any cars rotors and we can just throw that away don't need it now your motor rotor may be stuck on here mine's really loose and just came right off if it is stuck you can uh, the easiest thing to do is uh, get your rubber hammer and just beat all around here to get it off it's strong it's not going to break other things you can get a special screw in there and screwed in but rubber mount works great never had a problem with that before and then it just pulls off and there's my old hub okay so I've sprayed some more liquid wrench all in here which is where the hub bolts up the wall it's letting soak letting it soak we'll talk about a few different ways to get this hub off obviously you gotta get the four bolts off that's probably the easy part but then it it tends to get stuck in there um, didn't look like there's a whole lot in there to hold it in on this car other cars supposedly it's it's a lot more difficult but you pull those bolts off and then it it just doesn't come off and there's no way to pull it so a couple ways to do that is you can use the um, slide hammer which also which I have which is what I'm going to use you can also um, take a few of these bolts out Basically, you just hit it with a hammer, bigger hammer than this, pound them out, and then you get another longer bolt with a with a um, a screw here or a, a nut here, and you you thread it through here and push it against the backing here, and that pushes it out. Um, so you have to do it all around in different spots. So you might have to you know do one here and then rotate it, do another there. So you only have to. Uh, remove one because this will rotate around to the different spots the other way is to just beat on it with a hammer get screwdrivers in here try to pry it um, that's probably the most difficult way 